hello in this video i'll be talking about the mbbs practical exam and i'm gonna give you viva tips on it um this video is on the short case of the medicine exam where you're allotted a patient and you're asked to do the cns the rs the cvs or the abdominal examination your viva will usually start with telling the positive findings that you found in your patient instead of just blurting things out I would recommend that you go in order. So I would say that um, on examination I found that the abdomen was distended. On palpation I found that the liver is palpable. And on percussion I found the liver span to be 18 centimeters. I would not say that on auscultation I found normal bowel sounds because that is not really a positive finding. Next you will be asked to demonstrate a particular exam. They're not going to ask you do the entire abdominal examination. They'll just ask you, show me how you palpated the liver or demonstrate the knee reflex for me. Since you just have one or two chances to prove that you're an awesome student, do not mess it up. And you're likely to make mistakes when you're stressed and especially during exams. I mean, you can do the silliest of mistakes like, you know, stand on the left side of the patient instead of standing on the right side. Um, forgetting to expose the muscle while doing a reflex and um, it's very easy to make silly mistakes during exams just because you are stressed. A brilliant way to reduce stress at that moment is to talk to the patient. So the minute the examiner tells you, you know, um, palpate the liver, you have to tell the patient, I'm going to now feel for your abdomen and it gives you time to think about what you're going to do and um, when you're telling the patient I'm going to do this, you'll automatically remember about the position the patient should be in. So for abdominal examinations, make sure that the knees are flexed. So once you've explained the patient what you're going to do, and once you've placed the patient in a proper position, you might want to sanitize your hands and rub them and make sure they're warm and not cold. And I think if you do all these things in front of the examiner, it just gives a nice impression that you know stuff and you have a specific steps in your head and you're not just poking the patient for no reason. And you don't just need to do this for impressing the examiner. I mean, doing this in real life will actually give a good impression to the patient as well. I would recommend that you do this for all your exams, surgery, OBGY and especially pediatrics where you tell the mother before touching her child what you're going to do to the child. I hope that helped. Stay awesome.